I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. What like you, your man. boy Chick Smooth? Why are we so sensitive today? Listen, man, I get it. Everybody wants to be on high alert. Nobody wants to offend the next person for whatever their preference is. But sometimes you just gotta laugh a little bit. So Rory and Maul did an interview and then a skit with Lil Murder. He plays a gay role on the show P Valley. Now he's not actually gay in real life, he's actually married. This isn't anything new. This happens to certain characters. They take certain roles that's different from their actual life. But here's a skit with Rory and Maul that he did. Yeah, almost ready. Nah, I just quit. Monkeypox. Don't let that P Valley shit fool you, boy. Now, like I said to you guys, I don't see anything wrong with it. I thought it was funny. I got it the first time. I didn't think anything offensive about it, but people started coming down on him and he issued an apology. Here's what he said. Tell me what you guys think about this, man. Tell me if you guys thought this was offensive. Push comments below, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's up, people? So just wanted to come on and let you all know that I really enjoyed doing the Marlon Roy interview, but I wanted to address the skit that is being shown separate from the interview. When I was approached about the skit, it was after we had already done the interview, which I think is great. I hope you all get a chance to check it out. But the skit I was told was to be done to make fun at the rumors and the ignorance that people surround myself and, and the, the character and me having my own strain and people maybe not wanting to smoke with me because of the character that I play on Lil' Murder. And so we're picking fun at the ignorance and the ignorance of those people that make fun and, and create those situations. And that skit was supposed to bring a certain amount of attention to the interview. And I believe it's doing the exact opposite. It's not really showing the light and the love that was shown in that interview. I believe that the, the, the skit has definitely offended some people. I've seen your comments and I apologize for that. That was never our intent. And we have learned very quickly that ignorance is ignorance. You can't make fun of ignorance. It's just ignorant. And so I wish I would have stuck with my first instinct and not have done the skit, but it's being taken down immediately across all platforms. We have reached out to people and make sure that we're getting it taken down. And once again, I apologize for offending anyone who watched that video, watched that skit, and felt like that it was inappropriate and offensive, especially to my loved ones and my family in the LGBT community. I apologize sincerely, and we're taking care of it. I got y'all.